tell me a little bit about the difficulty in finding a, a donor. In the world, there are 6,000 other people who need donors, and if someone gets their blood tested and it doesn't match me, then it will probably certainly match someone else, and every time you donate, you're giving the gift of life, and it's so easy. I think that courage is about following your heart. Courage means to me uh, not being afraid and doing things I don't want to do when I need to do them. Courage to me is to have tolerance for others. What well, I think courage is is standing up to things that you're afraid of because you're afraid of what everyone thinks of you. And what courage means to me is believing in yourself and not what other people would think about you. Courage to me is being strong and being yourself. And my definition of courage is when you are falling, you must always catch yourself and get back up. Courage for me is being able to be comfortable with yourself and um, not being afraid of doing things. To me, courage is facing the things that make you feel emotion. The Max Warburg Courage Curriculum, or Max Courage, was founded 30 years ago in honor of Max Warburg, a boy in sixth grade who fought with great courage against a form of cancer called leukemia. However, it was not the disease that defined Max. It was how he faced his battle bravely, with great courage and empathy for others. He even started a bone marrow drive for others fighting leukemia. When Max passed away, his family created a world-renowned English language arts curriculum that centered around his character, a character full of courage. You'll be reading stories of courage, discussing courage in the classroom, and discovering courage within yourself. This social-emotional tool will help you explore your own stories while learning to empathize with those around you. You'll be writing a one-page essay about a moment of courage in your life. We are looking for that unique story, your story, your moment, where you faced a challenge and used courage to overcome that obstacle. Think of a time in your life when you stood up for yourself or someone else, when you faced a hardship or a challenging time for yourself or your family, or when you struggled and overcame an obstacle in your own life. There's bravery in what you may think as everyday moments. Students from all over Boston and beyond, both nationally and internationally, will be submitting essays. We will publish one essay that is representative of your whole school in the next edition of our Max Courage book, The Courage of Children, Boston and Beyond. Your teacher, all teachers, are our partners in this process, and we look forward to reading your stories of courage in February during our annual Essay Judging Day. We thank all of the students and the teachers for your perseverance, dedication, and most of all, courage.